how to connect asana to anaten step by step hey everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i am going to show you how you can create a connection between anaten and asana so you can create your first automation or you can just simply replace your repetitive task using anaten so in this video i will show you how you can access the access token and then how you can create credential and you will create your first project using Anaton automation. Now, first thing first, what you need is first is an Asana account and then you need a Anaton account. If you don't have any account, just go into description and click on that link. You will get 15 days trial of cloud uh, Anaton instance. So let's get started this video. So first thing first, what you have to do, this is my workflow. So from the top right corner, you have to just simply click on this plus icon and search for Asana. Now you have to click on this node. You will get two options like actions and trigger. If you know a basic of automation, you will get an idea what is triggered and what is action. Now let's move further. For after that, I will choose this action over here. Let me let's create project over here to demonstrate how you can use it. Now, after that, you will get something like this, which is this node. Now, click on this create credential to connect and click on this create new credential. Now, you will get two things first is access token, and second is auth2. You can use both of things, but I will prefer you to use the access token because auth it, uh, it will take time to get submitted your app so i will show you the whole process of how you can submit the app how you can create auth too as well but before that we will go and create access token first now uh, click on this uh, open docu docs it will take you to this uh, anaton document where you have all the instruction how you can create credential for this app Click on this uh, developer console. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll find this developer console because you can either type into your browser or you can just directly go into docs from Manhattan and click on that link. Now, uh, from there you have to, it will take you to this page where you have to log in with your Asana account. Now, after that, you will find this create new credential button in the bottom. Just simply click on it. And after clicking on that, you will get to see something like this. Just simply enter a name of your token. Say, let's say test one and click on this agree to the Asana API terms. Now click on this create token button. Now from there, you will get this uh, access token key. Just copy that and get back to your Anaton and paste this access token key into your access token section. Now, after that, you have to do is click on the save button from the top right and it will test the connection of this Asana credential. Now, as you can see, we have successfully connected. Now, close this. Now, this is the way you can create credential using access token. Now, let's move to how you can create using auth too. Now, before that, you have to copy this auth redirect URL. Now get back to your Asana developer account, close this and click on this create new app. Now from there, you have to enter your app name. Let's say test two, I will add. Now from there, you have to, uh, uh, which best describe what you have will do. You have to select that and then click on this. I agree to the Asana IPRT terms. Now after that, you have to click on this button, which is create app. Now from there, you will find this basic information uh, section. Now in the left side, you will find all the navigation things for your app, like basic information, and then you have OAuth, then you have our app component as well. Now, just simply copy this client ID and client secret and paste into client ID section and get back to the client secret and paste this client secret into client section. Now, let's go back to OAuth. And from here, you have to add a redirect URL. Simply click on that 
and get back to your Anaton and copy this auth redirect URL and paste that redirect URL into this Asana section. Now then add that. Now this is of, uh, how we can add redirect URL and if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find all the scopes from here, all the permission which is necessary. You can just simply select which app permission you need and which app permission you don't need. I will go with the full permission and click on the save changes. Now if you want to go to app components from here, uh, it allows you to build apps that works directly from Asana's UI. So you will get from here. Now after doing all of this, you have to enter the app listing details. Then you have manage distribution either like choose a distribution method and then after that you have to submit for debut uh, you before that you have to sub uh, like select the submission type and then you have a screencast video link you have to enter the setup instruction then you have to enter the other notes and after doing all the filling out all the information just simply click on the submit the asana developer team will review your application and if it is if it looks authenticated just simply uh, they will allow you to use this app and from there you can use it right now you will not use because be as you can see here when i click on this connect my account it will give me this error so best way you can use this access token just simply click on this cross and close this now we have connected our asana to an item using access token now let's uh, get back uh, let me just remove this and add again. And now click on this create a project action. Now I don't want to do with this. Now from here you have to choose resources to project. Now we will choose operation because we are creating a project. The operation will be created. Now over here, test here, and then from here you have to choose your workspace. It will load this team name or ID. I will choose that and click on this execute button. Now it will take a few seconds. As you can see here, we have successfully uh, created a project. If you want to see your project, just simply copy this para uh, link URL and paste it over here. It will take you to Asana dashboard where you have created your project. Now wait for a few seconds. As you can see in the top left corner, sorry, not top left corner, in the left now by you will see this test project. Now you can do a lot of things. So basically, uh, after the connection, you can just simply automate a lot of things like you can create a task. Like if you go into workspace, sorry, uh, and attend workspace and search for Asana. You can automate all of these things, like you can update a project, you can create subtasks, you can get many subtasks. So this is how you can connect with Anaton. If you want full tutorial on Asana on how to create full automation uh, workflow for uh, Asana, for simple business owners, I will create a video for that if you want to create. So simply comment it down below and I will create video for that. Thanks for watching.